This is just a quick follow-up video from my last video where I fitted this uh, chain, smaller chain ring set. It's a uh, 24 to 36, whereas before we had the 34 traditional 3450 compact. Anyway, this is a follow-up video to talk about whether this size is okay, being only 36, and secondarily to talk about how I couldn't get this derailleur any lower due to this uh, water bottle mount. So as you can see, I couldn't really get it any lower or I could put it below and it was too low and practically hitting the chain. So um, I guess to start off with is the 36 big enough. So of course we have 36 on the front, we have um, 11 on the back and we have uh, 28 millimeter tires. So 36 teeth. Um, I, I know it's not a popular opinion, but actually the 36 teeth were okay for me. So I was in Colorado for a little while. Um, I did use my small one down there a few times, not as many times as I thought I would, but I still think I'm going to need it uh, for some more mountains that I plan to do in, this, in the future. But um, the 36 is the real question. Is it too small? Or are you going to spin it out all the time? Okay, well, it totally depends on how fast you need to go. But I can tell you that I was you know, riding around at 30 plus, 35 kilometers an hour, um, no problem. It's true, when I went downhill though, uh, down the mountains and stuff like that, you know, I was spinning out, so, but it's okay for me. I'm not racing, I just sit there and coast. If I can't, if I can't add any power, I can't any, add any power, it's fine with me. And the only other situation where you would really need that additional speed is if you're doing like a fast group ride, which of course, uh, in that case, I'll be dropped, no problem, no question. But honestly, I haven't done a fast group ride in years. Any kind of group ride I've been doing lately has been slow speed. So um, yeah, I think it's on the edge of what's acceptable for my riding style and my fitness, but it is okay and I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I don't feel like messing with it, I like it. Uh, I love having the, uh, the small front one. I could upgrade it though, it's a 36. I could probably put a 38 up here, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave it for now. And the other thing though, uh, that you might have been wondering. The other kind of big question is, will the chain start falling off with with this much space? That's not a recommended space. I don't know what the recommendations are, but basically usually want it just like a finger's thickness, um, very close to the, much, much closer. <laughs> it's like over an inch now, higher than it should be probably. So anyway, did it work? Did it cause any problems? It did. It wasn't massive and it wasn't all the time, but a I probably had the chain drop in the, in the weeks that I was riding, dozens of rides, um, maybe five times. So it wasn't good. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a ton of droppage, but it's enough where it's like, you know, it's not fun. And it, especially it's bad because it's when you're on your, your smallest cog in the back. So you're trying to go as fast as you can or you're sprinting. And then especially sprinting I found uh, when I was pushing the power down on the pedals and the, and the biggest gear, suddenly it would fall off and that's a very unassuring feeling really makes you hesitant to put too much power into it so it's not good it didn't work kind of as I expect hey wait a minute could this go over this like wait a minute wow guys do I feel like a dummy it looks like because this is hollow let me see if I can get it turned so you can see it or I'll turn the camera see that it's hollow that actually is fitting right over that mount so what I'm thinking I can do, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't notice that last time. I mean, that fits pretty much fine. Let's see, let's see if we can bolt it up. How could I have not noticed that last time? Unbelievable. I mean, there's no more adjustability. It's pretty much it. And it's still a bit higher than it should, I'd say, but maybe that's good enough. Then I don't have to uh, mess with it any. Of course, I need to adjust my cable now. Okay, I fooled around getting the, uh, the shifting all right and everything. So right now we're in the smallest in the front and the second to the largest in the back. Go ahead and shift it to that, to that uh, biggest in the back right now. There we go. Now we're in my absolute granny gear setup. Now maybe I'd wanna, from there, shift down a few. Okay, that's uh, the third from the biggest in the back. Now let's go ahead and move it up to the largest in the front. No problem. Then I'd probably shift all the way down to my fastest set. Also no problem. Then let's uh, let's go back to the middle of the block. There we go. Then go ahead and drop it down to the lowest. That's working good. Bring it back. 
up to the highest. That was a little bit weird. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. It's actually feeling pretty good. So I think that that change really improved it. I wish I would have done that before I went to my trip to Colorado, but um, maybe it'll be another update video. I'll let you know how that goes. Let me get you close in here. As you can see, there's still a little more space than there should be, but it's much, much better looking than it was. That's way better. Um, I wonder if the best thing to do now would just to be go with that 38 chain ring, bring it up just a, a hair more. Then I'd have a little bit more speed on the front chain ring. And I'd also have the probably just the right uh, setting for my derailleur height. Anyway, that's it for this quick video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.